Hey y'all, with game, game day being tomorrow against Austin P, I wanted to create a quick video talking about what I think could be important for this game. Um, not so much because I think Austin P is just going to be that tough of an opponent. Opponent, uh, They're not going to be. T Tennessee, this is a game against themselves. It's a glorified scrimmage. But with that being said, you can take this opportunity and really try to push uh, the team and try to improve on some of the issues that we seen from last week um, So with the big one being uh, I would like to see Nico getting more snaps um, I, You know it, assuming that Joe Milton does his job There shouldn't be any reason that Joe Milton should roll out of the tunnel other than maybe that first series in the second half um, It would be really nice to see Nico pretty much have the entire second half to himself um, and really get some meaningful reps in, or, or maybe not meaningful, but some serious reps in. Um, uh, also, on the defensive side of the ball, we we got uh, injuries to Keenan Peely, uh, so we should see some more Aaron Carter. Uh, hopefully, Peely will be back relatively soon. Uh, Hypo made the comment on a radio show that uh, would that he'd be evaluated in a couple of weeks to see uh, how long he would be out, so he's not even sure when when he's coming back right now and he thinks in a couple weeks we might know when he'll be able to come back uh, I really hope it's not season ending especially for a guy who just came into Tennessee uh, through the transfer portal this year but we should see some Mar Arian Carter uh, I, I anticipate that uh, Jordan Pierce will live in the backfield of Austin P. that was I mean he did it against Virginia and, and I expect nothing less than than the same against Austin P. Uh, on on the offensive side of the ball, we still don't have uh, Cooper Mays back. Uh, seems as though he could play, but Heupel's keeping him out. Uh, so that way he's 100% ready to go whenever we go into the swamp next week. Uh, but for the most part, this is, this is going to be a scrimmage. Most uh, Hopefully the entire second half we'll see a lot of uh, second and third string guys getting some reps in. Uh, so that way in the event later on in the season somebody gets hurt, we got some guys with at least a little bit of playing experience behind them. Uh, in particular, uh, Nico Iamaliava. This is Joe Milton's team, but we need to be prepared for in the event if Joe Milton gets hurt or or just next season in general, uh, you'd like to have Nico not be rolling out there fresh. I mean, he, he only took five, six snaps last week against Virginia. Uh, hopefully he can get closer to 20, 25 this week get him some serious playing time um the, other than that there's not much to it i said some of the things i'd like to see improve um obviously we can't have Ramel keep dropping uh dropping bombs when they're hand delivered um the in general last week the the wide receivers and joe milton didn't seem like they were entirely in sync so maybe we'll get to see a little bit better play out of those out of those groups there maybe maybe they'll mesh together a little better this week uh, we didn't get to see anything out of Dante Thornton. I mean, he was on the field, but I, I don't know that he caught a pass. Um, so hopefully we'll see some. Hopefully we'll see some of him. Um, it really is going to depend on how Austin P decides to uh, play it. I mean, if they decide to say, "Hey, you're not going to beat us over the top," and then, then we may see more of what we saw against Virginia, where it's just dumping off to Squirrel White or Brew McCoy and uh, you know getting six, seven yard passes at a time. Uh, but if we're able to run it down their throats and, and they bow up and load up the box and say, you're not going to run the ball on us, that's when those longer passes are going to open up and uh, we should get to see some more long balls. Um, ultimately, I don't know that it's uh, really going to matter as far as the end result of the game. I mean, Tennessee should win this game by 50 in their sleep. But you'd like to see... Uh, Joe Milton try to connect on some more of those deep balls that uh, didn't go as well as he wanted to last se or last weekend against Virginia. I mean, you had the the one obviously Keaton dropped, and then you had the one that Brew toe tapped in the end zone and just didn't come down with it. And you know his pinky toe was out of bounds, and unfortunately that's an incompletion. Uh, and overall, it seemed like between the ten and twenty yard mark uh, as far as passes. Joe Milton didn't do super well, uh, so maybe get some more reps in there. Try to try to get uh, more of those intermediate passes uh, completed. 
uh, in particular over the middle. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how the game plan actually works out. I mean, I'm no football coach. I'm just a football fan. Likes talking about football. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I and mean, this is going to be a pretty cut and dry. Just uh, really, all we're watching for as fans is to see did we do we see any improvement from from some of the mishaps we saw last week, and uh, how how do our second string guys look? How do our third string guys look? Uh, so as fans, there's not a whole lot to look for in this game, except for, uh, you know, hopefully some improvement before we go into the swamp. Uh, one last note before I call it quits here, we are wearing the smoky grays, um, but it's not the smoky gray we're all used to. I'm sure most of you have seen it by now. It's, you know, gray looks, looks pretty similar, but the pants got two stripes instead of the single stripe fading into the checkerboard. Uh, the helmets have a lighter gray face mask rather than a black face mask. And the shoulder pads are uh, orange. And rather than the numbers being on top of the shoulder, they're on the side of the shoulder. Um, and, the sh and the numbers have an outline now. I believe it's a white outline. Uh, other than that, that's going to wrap it up. This should be a pretty cut and dry, cut and, cut and dry game. Um, next week we'll have more to talk about when it comes to Florida. Because uh, rest assured, even though Florida is not very good this season, they will be ready to play that game. You know, Florida hates Tennessee, and Tennessee hates Florida, and we play hard against each other. And uh, Florida hates to lose, especially in the swamp to Tennessee. We haven't done it since '03. Um, so next week's video should be a little bit more interesting. But thank you guys for watching.